Great, I'm going to show you how to have an object play a sound in your flip chart lesson. So I'm going to start off by clicking on a shape. I'm going to do a black line, purple fill, and then I'm going to have this be a width of a six here for my line. I drew my shape. Okay, I'm going to click on my shape now. Now we want to assign the action to it so it knows to play a sound. So I'm going to go to my browser. I can either do View Browsers, or I can also hit Control B, which is what I like to do for the shortcut. And notice my shape is clicked. I'm in the Action Browser, which is the top here. If I don't have anything clicked, it will not let me apply an action because it doesn't know what to apply it to. So you want to make sure you click on the shape that you want to play your sound, or the object. It can also be an image, it can be a clip art item from your resource library, it could be a line, it can be text, it cannot be a background, but other than that, most anything um, that's an object can play a sound. So here we have our shape, I click on it, we're on our top. I'm going to go to my drop down menu here for a shortcut. I'm going to go to document media actions and then open document file or sound. And down here this square with the two dots. That's my browse icon. I'm going to browse to where my sound file is. I'm going to click on the word B there, my file B, and I'm going to click apply changes. Now I have this box that pops up and I'm going to click store file and flip chart. Um, if you don't click this, it will basically look for the file on your computer. And if you give this to your colleague to use or another teacher in your building, they possibly might not have the B file or that B sound on their computer and they won't be able to retrieve it. So I always click store file and flip chart because it keeps the sound with the flip chart lesson. So if it transfers to anybody else, the sound is always there. Okay, then I click OK. Now we have a blue button, and when we click it, B. Then our sound plays. So again, you know that a sound is associated with this. Um, when we have the play button, if we want to enlarge that shape for any reason, we're going to have to go to design mode by clicking the snowflake, turning it to red. Now we can make this bigger or smaller and go back to presentation mode and it still plays. B! So there you have it. Now I hope you know how to have a sound file play um, by clicking on an object.